Hi everyone, welcome back again to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise, and today I'm going to answer a question, a great question that Frida had. Uh, she wants to know if OAN News, I guess it's one, one American network, if they'll ever be shut down. I, I guess apparently they're threatening anybody who opposes Trump, Trumpy she says, yeah. Uh, and they're promoting more violence. I completely agree with her. It's a wonderful question. So I'm going to drop the camera down and explore this. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm using the Maybe Let Em On by Ryan Edward. And uh, let's look at the future of One American News Network. Will it ever be shut down? Yes, absolutely. They are calling for violence. They're promoting more violence, actually. Yes, Frida, you're absolutely right. This is just horrific, the, the way these people operate. Anyway, let's see. Ooh. Okay, so I might draw some more cards to lay over, but so far, so remember the top row here has more control, has control over the bottom row, but it could also, I think in this situation, is showing us the reason why it's not going to go well for them. Okay, so anyway, our theme here is the rose and the scythe. Well, the rose is all about seduction. It's all about, uh, you know, captivating an audience, right? So Because it's next to the letter, it's like they have an art. They're risky, but they have an art for how to captivate. Like they know, and but you know, we we know how that works. It's it's all just the ridiculous. Um, it it's what has happened for years and years and years. You create fear in the public, and you know it's driven with a message of of fear. You know, like. These immigrants are, or well, member Trump called it, calls them Mexicans that are rapists and bring in drugs and da 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 da. Meanwhile, he's been a mob boss for years, and <laughs> I'm sure he's, you know, in in bed with um, human trafficking and money laundering, and oh, I just can't wait to see him go down with RICO charges. But anyway. It's the same old stupid ass song and dance, pardon my French, to create fear in the atmosphere. And you know, we could see this as being the arts. It, it's, it's a twofold approach that brings in, uh, seduces fear and hatred. A lot of people, a lot of Americans, well, a lot of people all over the world don't understand how negative and positive pleasure work. So shortly, and I won't. This is not of any. This is not judgment of any type because this is a hum, This is part of the human condition. We come in. I'm just going to say it quickly. We come in with this is what I believe. You don't have to believe it, and that's okay. <laughs> it's just totally fine. But I believe that we are deep in our cores and in the nucleus of every cell in our bodies. We have the divine spark, which is. Uh, completely 100% positive pleasure based in love and unity and bliss. We incarnate a fragment of where we don't believe that and don't understand the laws of love. I in every incarnation we, we, <laughs> 
we incarnate an ego fragment to help us work through that. And basically part of that ego fragment is full of hatred at the bottom and on, you know, in the, in the, the core. It's just a mistake. It's not who we really are. It's just a mistake. Uh, it's a mistaken notion. It's a wrong conclusion about the way things are. And it's based in, you know, lifetimes of um, having terrible, terrible um, um, experiences, and we have good reason to have these false beliefs. So in each lifetime, we're afforded all the opportunities we need in order to turn it around. So there's hatred at the core, hatred at the bottom, I should say, not in the core of who we are, but, you know, in our minds, in our psyches, and in our soul, which is different than the spirit. I don't believe the soul and the spirit are the same thing. But the soul can clear out to the um, to be the the pure filter over the spirit for each incarnation because we need the soul to incarnate and the soul is part of our unique essence. So it's kind of a paradox, it feels like to me. But anyway, on top of the hatred is fear. And the fear is there because no one wants to be seen as that hateful. And the reason the fear is there is because... <laughs> There's guilt. There's guilt for hating. So, we're, so we have an unconscious part of ourselves that goes around being afraid of being seen as hateful and afraid of experiencing the repercussions of being hateful. And that is because deep down in the core of who we each are, we definitely have, it, it's like we're geared towards... Um, freeing our spirit and the only way we can do that is to clear out the fear and hatred but the people like these people they're just hell-bent on making money and they seduce everyone with their words with the written word with their you know streaming service that they've got going on and that's what they've been doing so in the future you know they're just trying to seduce more people trying to get them to commit to their streaming service. Who knows what they charge? I have no idea. And we could say the same thing, you know, about pox. <laughs> who's who's the, the master viewer that says pox spews? Is it Chops Daddy 3? I can't remember. <laughs> Our pork chop master. I think it might be Chops Daddy 3. He cracks me up. Hi. <laughs> Giving you a high five. <laughs> Uh, so, but anyway, back to OAN and Pox Spews, you know, I, I don't have to say who that means because I know you know. I, it's all about the money and the news and the information that they relay is just to seduce people. So for sure I'm going to have to layer over. But what I'm seeing, I'll, I'll do another uh, row here, but what I'm seeing so far is um, it's their twofold approach to fear monger. And, you know, because that's what sells. And then people who are not evolved enough to know, you know, to be aware of their own negative pleasure where they feed into that. Or they like hating, you know, there's negative pleasure in hating. Of course they're gonna hook into the fear because it's on top of the hatred, like I just said. So this is this is like the reason why it sells so well and why it's so dangerous. It's dangerous because there's a lot of money in it, and it's dangerous because you know it's it, well it's risky and it and it brings in I mean, you know, this to me could even be COVID, uh, you know, getting the COVID shot. Fear around, around that, that I don't, I don't know if they, if they um, spew that information, but I'm wondering because this card came through. But in the future, they are going to spend lots of money spewing their lies to seduce, trying to get people to commit to their streaming service. And they have a twofold approach. I don't really know what that is other than the fear and the hatred. Maybe that's what this is about. 
But someday, and I can't say how long, unless maybe if I use, maybe I'll use a kipper after. Um, but let's see. Let's stick with this because what we have here is, you know, they're they're trying to they have an attack going on to try and get the commitment. And this twofold and this risky approach that they've been using at some point will end because it is very dangerous. And and then there's there's also some t there's like a danger there's a danger to their health to the health of the entity OAN news you know itself that's interesting also the tree has to do with the way people think their brains the belief systems karma and its roots and how you know how deep it can go It because because of the child card here, it feels to me like they're they're always going to have this new you know approach to all this daily little tidbits coming out to feed the fear. But when it comes to big money, this isn't big money. But the money does flow to get the information. So I don't you know. Let me draw some more cards over to see their um, future. But meanwhile, I just, you know, I want to send prayers and love to the people who, prayers of love, the intention of love to the people who get sucked in. The tree card can suck up all the energy around the other cards. I'm... Oh, I get it. These two cards here have to do with people who are not very evolved immature, maybe young souls that don't understand how things work. So we just have to send them love and help them someday see the truth. You know, that's the thing here on Earth. It's an equal opportunity planet for all souls. But those of us who do our best to stay in the love and the light, the truth, which is all the same thing. Love, light, truth, it's all the same thing. Um, we don't have to experience the repercussions of all this negativity around us, although we see it. But it's okay. It makes us all want to vote more, <laughs> vote harder. <laughs> if there's such a thing. We'll just make sure we don't. You know, that was part of the thing that got um, got Trump ele elected is that uh, 80, what was it, eight? no, 80, what am I saying? I think it was 57 or 58 percent of people stayed home and didn't vote. That'll teach us, huh? <laughs> and then we got out in record numbers to vote for Biden. Okay, so... More as to the future, because we have an overlay here of the reasons and how it's been working. More about the future of o OAN, One American News Network. Okay. Well... This, this is my foreign card, and this is the government. But it could be the institution of the news as well, because, it, you know, the tower and the Lenaman is all about... Um, it's about institutions and um, authority sometimes, but it can also be isolated and lonely it can and it's also a card of boundaries the ship has to do with movement i um, but this is also my foreign card so in the future 
Now this might this might apply to um, Sheldon Whitehouse's quest to get dark money out of politics, and Biden's uh, Biden has committed to getting I can't remember what the name of the well. I don't know if it's been an executive order or I forget. So much has happened. I, but Biden has committed to get money, dark money out. He's, he's behind Sheldon Whitehouse's quest to get dark money out of uh, politics and out of America and so that everything is exposed because something's being watched here from, you know, foreign countries. And... There's a boundary here. In the Lundemann, this is part of the rules and regulations. You know, I don't know if we really have that many rules and regulations cards in our uh, in our Lundemann decks, but if there is one, this is it. I don't know. The bear might be another one. Uh, which is why I'm going to use the kipper real quick. But anyway. I see that what's happening in the future, there's going to be some independence away from foreign money that's been slipping into these uh, companies to promote. There's, there's going to be a lot of... The, the future of OAN is that there's going to be a lot of um, care. There will be more and more care as to watching them. Investigation. This is an investigation card in the Lonemon. Oh, this is actually a, a gypsy card, that could, because this deck is a combo of Lenamon and Gypsy. But anyway, watching foreign entities, and there's going to be care to make sure that we're independent of that. And OAN is going to be caught up in that. There's going to be a, a part of that. Interesting. Okay, so I don't have the mountain card here showing obstacles, over OAN, but we do have the coffin, which is the end of a dangerous branch of a new, you know, news cycle and new money that flows through. So I don't think it's going to go for them, but I don't have a timeline here as well. But although, you know, maybe I just need to ask that specifically, like how long it might take. But, you know, the way it works is the information is going to just start coming out more and more uh, because I'm, yeah, well, I just had to logically think it through and I didn't have time to do that until early this morning and it hit me and it was like, oh, yeah, you know, sometimes I'm so slow. <laughs> I crack myself up how slow my brain is sometimes. But anyway, I had this awareness that the way it's going to work is everything has to come through. So I'm trying to focus on OAN at the same time. Future of OAN. I'm, everything's going to come through all the court cases and, um, you know, all the, what's the, I guess that it would be penalties, you know, the price that these people have to pay for being involved in the insurrection, all the, you know, sentencing that comes down on them. But prior to that, what they're doing, what they've been doing, is been gathering information on these people. And that's why they've let some of them go, because they're watching them. I've gotten that in readings before. They're watching them. So they're they're watching all these little like cell groups if there's any they're trying to get all the information they can from all of these people who were involved in doing the insurrection and they'll get information from them as to who funded them so meanwhile i'm still going to read on like alex jones and the public's heiress but i uh, all the representatives will be found guilty it could take two years, it looked like, in the reading I did yesterday about the Insurrection Commission. It looked to me like it would take at least two years, uh, take a long time to get all the information out. So we're going to have to be very patient. But that's what has to happen first before these big companies, big conglomerates of funders, whoever they are, before they're brought down.
I think that's the direction it's going to go. Just like with Trump, you know, they go they go after all the little guys and they then they try to get the big fish. That's the way law enforcement works, or that's the way FBI works when they're gathering information, and it's the way prosecution works. Okay, OAN. The future of OAN, One American News Network. Will they ever be shut down? That coffin card certainly looked like it. And then, you know, the scythe next to it certainly looked like the reason why is because they will be found, um, oh, I don't know who that is, be found uh, as a dangerous source of news. Okay. Future of OAN. Will they ever be shut down? I guess that would be more of like an FCC type of a thing, or some new law. Yep, okay, so. Their future is that, oh, there's still, you know, there's meetings, there's, oops, let me move these up a little, sorry. Okay, there are meetings, I'm, um, where they still try to get the money, you know, there's people um, donating and paying for their streaming service. I, there are meetings that will be successful as to revealing that their honor is is of none. You know, this is the, this is the fraudster, this is the false information, this is the scam artist, this is the, you know, the liar. And that's their work. That's what they've been doing. But their success will not will not rise up. That's what I just heard. The success will not rise up. And they absolutely will be with the imprisonment card here. This is restriction. If if there's some main person that um, whoever I don't know who the, who started, you know who's the guy at the top. If he's not imprisoned, uh, he will at least be restricted. And I guess because there's, you know, something with the money that's involved. Interesting. And the way that the whole thing is designed to just get people thinking in the wrong direction. Okay, more information here. Yeah, they're... Okay. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, it's not going to go well for them. So, I... Uh, they're on a long journey of... It's going to be revealed that their communications are funded uh, by... Well, you know how we had the the foreign funding and the uh, Lenormand. I think that could be the thing that gets them. Risky investments, people who have, uh, people, yeah, risky, in, in bed with risky investors. And they're such a distraction to what needs to happen in America for us to heal. I mean, these these two cards here, the false person and the thief, these are the two, you know, scam artists. Well, this one, this one's the scam artist and the liar. This one actually steals. So, he, and because this card lines up here with the imprisonment, and then we have the poverty card, this is their future. You know, they will they will be seen, they will be revealed, it will be revealed that I uh, that they have stolen. I'd see now. I don't know if maybe this guy's going to try to make off with some money because he this this card touches him. Whoever this guy is, this main man at um, OAN. This is interesting. Could be that he tries to make away with some money. 
Uh, but in the end, and, and then it, it could be that he tries to make way with the money and then drains the network itself. So I would say, I would say yes, it's going to, um, oh, that, and that's what I was, I was trying to find out with timing. Yes, it will eventually, um, it will eventually end, but it can take a long time. This is the two or more year card. So it's, it's going to take some time. Boy, do we have, uh, you know, it, and it, it's the USA's Pluto return, so in 2022, so I, I look to, like, the, you know, this time period between now and 2024 as being just so significant for the United States of America. We're going to have to hold on to our hats, vote like our lives depend on it, because it does. And, um... Just keep trying to lift everyone up to, um, to to see the truth without without hurting anyone. Of course, you know we want everyone to be okay, but this is going to take time. So okay, well I think that's all I have. If you guys got anything that I missed, feel free to drop it in the comments. I love all my readers that are that are there, and you intuitives as well, um, psychics and mediums and all my other. Um, tribe, part of my, you know, our community here. Love you all. And um, I welcome your comments. Okay. And take good care. Bye.